doing everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're going to be covering monday night raw's results of the superstar shakeup last night i'm going to go ahead and get straight into it you know we had a lot of guys move from smackdown live over to monday night raw some of them very anticlimactic that nobody cares about and then some that were absolutely very surprising also First of all, let's go ahead and give a huge freaking shout out to the man himself, Jeff Hardy. One of my favorite superstars of all time last night became a newly crowned uh, Grand Slam champion right here. He defeated Jinder Mahal, won the United States Championship, so he can add that accolade to his just epic career of championships. Um, you see here, um, in the old criteria, he was already a Grand Slam champion, but now that he won the United States Championship, he is a new era Grand Slam champion. So huge shout out to Jeff Hardy. Huge congratulations to him. If you didn't know, he defeated Jinder Mahal to start off Monday Night Raw last night, and I love that so much. I'm so glad that the, uh, the United States Championship is off the modern-day Maharaja. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's go ahead and get into the guys that switched from SmackDown Live over to Monday Night Raw. So here's a look at the guys that really didn't get a spot on uh, television. Uh, Baron Corbin, he was announced. He got a little vignette, but the rest of these guys are pretty much announced on WWE.com and Twitter um, that were switched over to Monday Night Raw. Um, I don't really think these guys are going to have a big impact on Monday Night Raw. I think that that's the reason they probably weren't featured on Monday or on you know the television. However, um, I hope that these guys get a little bit of credibility. Uh, the Fashion Police, I'd like to see them in a more serious championship role. You know, they did defeat the Bar though, so that was a big thing. Um, they did actually get on television. They had a match and they picked up a victory. And if you were guys remember Chad Gable. I said that I would like to see him and Shelton Benjamin break up and let them do singles runs. I said Shelton come to Raw, but Chad Gable coming to Raw is going to be awesome. Hopefully they put him um, in some singles feuds, have him built up, because I think he's a fantastic wrestler. And I cannot wait to see how Shelton Benjamin fares over on SmackDown. Get him into the mid-card immediately. Let him get a championship. I'd like to see him as WWE champion at that. So uh, it'll be interesting for sure to see how these guys fare on Monday Night Raw. And here we have a look at the guys that made more of an impact. You guys already know, as I said before, Jeff Hardy did become United States Champion, becoming a Grand Slam Champion to start off the night. He defeated Jinder Mahal, who came over from SmackDown Live. Um, a few other notables that we got. The Miz, it was mentioned that he would be shipped off to SmackDown Live. I cannot wait to see what fares with that and Daniel Bryan. I think that's going to be great. That's definitely going to be storyline of the year. Um, I know they're going to do well with it. I don't think they're going to uh, squander that after you know the long history that they have. Um, a huge NXT debut, and Drew McIntyre showed up. You know, my boy Dolph Ziggler comes out there, and he's talking and stuff, and I was like, oh, my God, what in the hell are they going to do here? I was like, Jesus, Lord, they're out there with Titus Catering. I was like, you know, I was very worried for what they were going to do. And then Drew McIntyre comes out of nowhere, and I guess they are a tag team moving forward. I would like to see them, you know, get their own Titantron and music. If they're going to be a tag team, I hope they merge together so that Dolph Ziggler doesn't have to do that scratch thing anymore. But Drew McIntyre was a fantastic debut. I love the uh, Claymore zigzag finisher that they went with. And I cannot wait to see how that fares. I don't think anybody saw that coming. So that's definitely an interesting take. In the main event, we got to see Bobby Roode as the mystery tag partner for the 5-on-5 five 10-man five, tag team match that ended the night. Of course, the face is won. And hopefully Bobby Roode immediately turns heel and goes after Seth Rollins on Monday night. I don't think that we're going to see Seth Rollins on SmackDown Live. I think Jeff Hardy is going to be making the jump there. Um, because I think they're gonna, they need to keep the Monday Night Rollins thing going. I don't think they're going to move him to SmackDown Live. It'll be interesting if he does, but I preferably would move Jeff Hardy instead of Seth Rollins. And then, of course, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn did make their way over in the Miz storyline, and uh, I am very happy to see them over here. And then, last but not least, um, one of the big women we saw was Natalia, and then we saw Ruby Riot which I did predict in my predictions. I'm very surprised we didn't see Becky Lynch. I thought for sure we would see Becky Lynch. That did not happen. But Natalya and uh, Ronda Rousey are together now, and I think that's a very odd little pairing there. But yes, I believe that about does it for all of the superstars that made their way from SmackDown Live over to Monday Night Raw. Cannot wait to see how it fares tonight on SmackDown Live. Who is going to be making the jump? I predict that Jeff Hardy, like I said, would be going over there. I think that Braun Strowman could very well be making his way over to SmackDown Live. It'll be interesting to see for sure. Um, thank you guys so much for watching that this video. I think that's going to do it. 
Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MyDamnToys. If you would like to keep up with me, I tweet during SmackDown Live. I live tweet. If you want to follow me over there, you can check me out and, you know, keep up with everything. All of my thoughts on everything that is happening currently with the product as the show goes on. So definitely go check that out. Hit that bell for all notifications so you never miss an MDT upload. Check out yesterday's video. We did a Pick Fed Extreme Moments Volume 1. We did uh, all of, like... The uh, extreme moments from the first half of MDT Wrestling, so you definitely want to go check that out. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.